Hey, this is Dan with GetTheSmokeOut.com. In this video, we're going to talk about cigar shop smoke eaters. Now, typically the cigar shops, they can either be a couple of guys on an afternoon or an evening, hanging out, having a cigar, or depending upon your shop and whether or not you hold the tasting events, you can really pack people in shoulder to shoulder and totally fill the place and overwhelm the place with smoke. So the key with, with cigar shops is that I really like to um, hit it a little bit harder as far as the power, meaning we need more airflow, more CFM or cubic feet of air per minute going through the systems. So instead of being very conservative, if you're between one and two machines, get two. If you're between two and three, get three. Um, if you decide to go with fewer machines, you're probably going to regret it if you pack the house with a tasting event. You really need to plan for your worst case scenario, not your best case where there's only one or two guys in there during the day. Um, the other thing to note is many cigar shops are in strip malls. What that means is you've got stores to the right and to the left. And I get many complaints from either the cigar shop owners or the landlords or the neighbors about the smoke bleeding through to the other adjoining spaces. The key to remember is that buildings are not designed to be airtight. They never were, they never will be. And you can go around and try to caulk any holes that you may find, but in general, buildings are really tough to make airtight, so there may be some transference of the smoke odors into the adjoining space. Uh, the one way to deal with that is to try to create what's called a negative pressure environment in the cigar shop so that the adjoining spaces are more positively charged. So let's say that there's a couple of different stores here and here's your shop. Through the use of your heating and air conditioning um, contractor, you can use a little bit of exhaust to pump some of the smoke out and that creates some negative airflow, which means when you open your front door, there's gonna be some airflow coming in and the reason for that is you're exhausting some smoke out. It just creates a suction of that. By doing that, if there's any transference of air from the adjoining spaces, it'll actually be going this way as opposed to from the shop into the adjoining spaces. So the first step is to really hit your cigar shop with the appropriate air filtration machines to draw the smoke out as quickly as possible. That will minimize greatly the amount of smoke that's even in the air to bleed through to the adjoining spaces. If you'd like to really uh, do a great job, you can utilize the ultraviolet based purifiers in conjunction with the filter machines. And those deal very much with the gases, fumes, and odors from the cigar smoke. And that again can minimize the impact to the neighbors. Uh, only if you've gone through those processes and really treating the shop well, if you're still having a problem with the adjoining spaces, and that's when you can talk to your heating and air conditioning contractor and let them know that you need to create a negative pressure environment in your shop so that the adjoining spaces are not affected. Uh, so those are some of the thoughts around the cigar shop. Again, just in summary, you want to hit it hard with enough filtration. Generally, I recommend about 12 air filtrations per hour. And that means every five minutes you're drawing the entire shop through the filters and cleaning the air out. That means that at worst, you're only going to have five minutes worth of smoke in the air. That's really a great way to go and a great, great target for cigar shops. I do recommend that you size it out, measure your space, the ceiling height, ceiling type. If you've got a drop ceiling, find out how much clearance you've got above the drop. Get that information and either pick up the phone and call me uh, or enter it in in the Get a Quote request uh, page on our website. And I'd be glad to put a custom recommendation together for you. And uh, I'll look forward to talking to you. Thanks very much.